<clears throat> Hi, I'm Jordan Long, and today I'm going to talk about folks out there who seek, well, more like IW followers and AEW followers. Now, keep in mind, not all IW followers or even AEW followers behave like this, but some do. Some uh, do behave in a, in a way. What some of them do is, is that they like IW and AEW, good for them. If they get happiness and glee out of it, then good to them. What they do is, what some of them do is, is that they go around and they bitch and they nag and they whine about WWE. They make fun of it. They put it down, call it names, besmirch its name. And they start talking about all the things that WWE does that someone out there might get mad at. And then tell them, oh, well, if that's going to make you mad and don't watch WWE anymore, come watch IW or AEW. Now, what a lot of these folks don't understand is that with, say, IW or AEW says something or does something that someone out there might not like. What are you going to say about that? Oh, it's not the same. Overlook it. It's IW or AEW. I don't know. They don't really put a lot of thought into that. They just hope to get more followers to watch their stuff. They want to get the irked and the mad and the wretched to watch their, uh, to watch IW and AEW. Why? Because in their mind, they believe they'd bring WE down. Now, they're going to say that WWE followers behave that way. They're going to say that WWE followers make, uh, say, you know, make fun of IWAW and call it names and all kinds of stuff. Some WWE followers might scave IW and AEW for things they did wrong or things they said that they didn't think was right. But at the end of the day, a lot of WWE followers don't do don't behave like some of the IW, AEW followers behave like. And keep in mind, an AEW follower is just an offshoot from an IW follower. They tend to behave the same way. They tend to go something like, they tend to behave the same way. You know, they do. Now, one side's going to say they're more one side doesn't want to believe it, but the AEW was offshooted from IW. So in a way, one is just a knockoff of the other. They go like this. Oh, well, you're not, oh, well, you're not, well, oh, you're not going to like TakeOver and Backlash. Because they're not going to make the fights be as good as you want them to be. Oh, well, you know, oh, well, you know Adam Cole going to beat the Velveteen Dream. And you know uh, Drew McIntyre is going to beat Bobby Lashley. So don't watch TakeOver or Backlash. Go watch Slammiversary or whatever other or Liberty AEW show is, WrestleFest or whatever they're doing. Now, no. Why? Okay, so, alright, so which say Drew McIntyre beats Bobby Lashley and Adam Cole beats Velveteen Dream? We all know that that's going to happen. So it happens, oh well, be happy either way. Am I going to get irked and go watch IW and AEW because that's what you like to watch? No, if you want to watch IW or AEW, good for you. But don't tell me what I should and should not do coming from your belief in thought. Yeah, that's what they do. They uh, they uh, tell all kinds of sagas and tales about, oh, Dovey gonna, Dovey gonna do this, or Dovey's gonna do that. Oh, and you're not gonna like this, so come watch IW, or go watch AEW. Yeah. Oh, well, go, you'll be like, oh, go watch Slamversary, because that's gonna be more good. Or go watch Double or Nothing again, because you all know, I, 
AEW can't come up with any good buy shows, so they gotta stick. They gotta uh, can't come up with any good buy shows, so it's gotta try to seek to take from others. You know. Um. So it is what it is, and that's what they do. Not all of them are guilty of this. This is true, but a lot of them are guilty of it. And you know they're on YouTube, they're always bitching and nagging and whining about WWE, how bad it is, and about how, how good IW and AEW are. They're always, you know, watching folks like WrestleMania and Wrestling News Now and the Wrestle Hub and the Sports Entertainer and Sutlock Wrestling to hear all the latest sagas and tales that may or may not happen so they can go so they can go tell, so they can go, you know, so they can go tell all the W followers this and this gonna happen. Oh, if this gonna irk you or make you mad or make you rats, go watch this. That's what they do. Some of them seek to get you to watch what they want you to watch by making you be mad making you irked and mad over something that W.E. does. Because in their mind, they believe that everyone is going to get irked and mad over those things. So they hope to come up with something that will win you to their side. Because I guess in their mind, they didn't make the choose to watch I.W. or A.E.W. on their own because someone had a mind, had, a, had to play a mind game on them, how to tell them shit to get them to watch it. And another thing that some of them are guilty of, not all of them, is this IW and AEW would never say that. They would never do that. Almost if they believe that those two wrestling businesses are flawless and cannot do no wrongs, make no mistakes, and have no mishaps. That's what they do. Or well, not all of them, some of them. Oh, well, TNA, well, IW would never say that, never do that. And AEW would never do that, never say that. So you're making them out to be flawless, that they can't do no wrong, that they make no mistakes and have no mishaps, right? And it's only WWE and everyone else you don't like that either have flaws, make mistakes, and have mishaps. I think that is a kind of a sad belief to have if you believe that all oh, if you believe those sides will never do any wrong it is they some of them do do that and some of them if we does something they hate it but if i w and a w do that same thing they'll love it and they'll tell you oh well it's not the same thing so Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley were fighting in IW and they loved it. Well now they're fighting in WWE now and they're gonna hate it. So that's exactly how they behave like. If WWE does something, they don't like it. It's shit. But if IW and AEW offshoot that, they'll love it. Why? I don't know. That's just the way they think. That's the way some of them out there think. You know? So, at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know, and I know there are going to be, there are some IW followers and some AEW followers out there who think that, who are, who are like, oh, I don't behave like that, or I don't think that way. Well, that's true. Not all IW or AEW followers believe or behave like that, but a lot of them do. Not all of them, but a lot of them do and there are some WE followers that do, not going to say they make fun of IWAEW, but they do scave it for wrongs, for mistakes that were made and mishaps that happened. But to say that WE followers are the bad ones and AEW and IW followers are the good ones, is a sad way of looking at it. There is no winning side, all right? So many IW followers for 18 years and AEW followers for 8 months believe 
that IW and AEW are the two winning sides. And that everyone should jump to them because they're going to outlive WWE. How do they know this? They don't know. They got their guess and their thought and their belief. But they don't know. They're not a far seer. They can't they don't they can't far see look they can't far see into the upcoming to know if this is true or not. But that's what some of them believe. I'm Jordan Long and I hope you like this film.